Hello everyone and welcome to the Captain's Video Blog. We are Saturday, January the 7th, uh, 2017. So, it's a little bit past uh, 7 a.m., which means that it's a little bit, past, you know, a little bit over three hours past the deadline that I had set for myself, you know, for the for Saturday's video blog. Um, but then again, um, <laughs> that that uh, that deadline of 4 a.m. was set because uh, I yeah I actually thought that I would manage to be awake until 4 a.m. Uh, it was more of a way to to motivate myself to not go to sleep too late not rather than uh, really being uh, yeah so at 401 this is no longer Saturday no but um, I failed to stay awake until 4 a.m. Uh, why well um, let's contextualize all of that so uh, the end of yesterday's video blog at the end of yesterday's video blog you know I was wondering out loud uh, whether I would um, I would stay in my bedroom you know watch some videos uh, on YouTube and uh, yeah uh, at some point uh, would I would get up and uh, you know spend the, the evening and the night with my family and uh, you know maybe at 2, 3, 4 a.m. would record the video blog and go to sleep or I would step out of my bedroom you know just at just then and do all that but uh, with uh, uh, like three or four more hours of uh, just uh, you know sitting around doing nothing um, and I decided on the former you know, because I was like yeah I uh, my, my phone e doesn't have a lot of battery and um, there's still the risk that the the phone might crash during the upload at an early stage so you know I'll just stay there and I'm also I was also a bit tired like I had I had maybe napped for two hours on Friday night yeah uh, so I wasn't really feeling that well um, <laughs> uh, so yeah um, and actually that you know that went well for four hours I watched some videos on YouTube and then you know um, just as I remembered what I you know what I was going to do to today so yeah Sunday uh, I clicked on a video and maybe two or three minutes later I fell asleep yep so at 9 p.m. I just you know as I was <laughs> as I I was going to get up I fell asleep which is uh, bad and it, you know pretty bad and then I woke up at 3 a.m. and why did I wake up at 3 a.m. and not later you know uh, th you know 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. it's just six hours and it's not it's not a lot it's a fair amount of sleep but it's not a lot um, well I guess that you could uh, put that on my cat scratching the door of my bedroom to uh, you know to have me uh, get you know let him let him out yeah because someone uh, brought him in my bedroom either when I was uh, when I was sleeping or when I was watching a video because I, I'm not really aware of the outside world when I'm when I'm having the earbuds the earbuds in my in my ears, so yeah, uh, and that, I mean I actually took a good hour to just get up you know get out of my bed and uh, open open his door because I was like oh I guess I can still you know fall asleep again even with the cat being a shithead. And I mean, I could have done that really. I, it's not. I I I have had uh, moments where I where I really did that. So you know, it just it's not out of my uh, out of my scope. Uh, but no, I decided to to go to go out of my bedroom because I actually was getting a bit hungry. Like, I the last time I had eaten anything was um, around noon on Saturday. So yeah. <laughs> um, so I grabbed a bite, and that's really the reason why um, I'm recording the video blog so late like I took a lot of time to uh, to eat because I wasn't really finding anything so uh, I just uh, looked for stuff for a while um, so yeah now I'm up and actually not for too long I'm I think that I'm gonna go back to sleep at least to kill some time like I'm not really planning on on actually sleeping uh, but if I if I fall asleep 
at least I'll set some further alarm for maybe 10 a.m., 10.30, because, well, I mean, the, the thing that I have to do is attending a football match in Toulouse. Um, <laughs> so Toulouse versus Marseille, round of 64 of the French Cup. Uh, I remember that uh, just before falling asleep. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it was great. Um, so yeah, uh, because we have to leave, I would say, around noon, I'm not gonna... You know, I'm not gonna uh, try to to really fall uh, fall asleep. It will be s sort of a nap. It's really, it really my plan here is to kill some time because as much as I feel that I'll be able to to hold on until you know until two and uh, uh, until two fifteen and then until maybe the game goes to overtime or or to the uh, the 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 PK um, the penalty kickoff um, the the shootout, yeah. <laughs> uh, I just don't want to risk it. Uh, so uh, killing time in my bed, watching videos or sleeping, we'll see. Um, and uh, I'll wake up and I'll be like, haha, what a good night of sleep I've had. Uh, yeah. So uh, speaking of that game, um, neither Gomis, who is suspended, nor NGA who is uh, at the uh, African Nations Cup playing with Cameroon. Uh, neither of, the, of those dudes will be, uh, will be there against Toulouse. So uh, I think that only two choices remain for uh, the, uh, the, uh, the center forward because uh, Garcia didn't, uh, didn't call back um, Aaron Leia Iseka, which is actually you know, a good thing in itself because dude is pretty much transparent. Like I, I want to, to like him and to praise him because his brother has been, you know, his, uh, his older brother Mishi Batshuayi. He's been, he's been, you know, there in probably one of the worst seasons in in recent history for Marseille, uh, and therefore you know you you want to feel some sympathy for you know for his brother especially since uh, Mishi himself said that yeah my brother he might be better than me uh, yeah no um, but he's he's not he's not really great yeah so only two choices remain Bunasar and Antoine Rabiar and the latter one is the one I want to see being in the starting eleven like uh, the newspapers with their insiders and you know their sources they are all like Haha, <laughs> it's probably going to be Bunasar at, you know, at the center forward. And I'm like, uh, but can we not? You know, it's not that I don't like Sar. Like, he's gotten, uh, it's gotten uh, heaps better uh, since uh, Garcia arrived. Probably because, well, I mean, it's pro he's probably under more scrutiny. But, I mean, yeah, no, he's just doing pointless stuff on the on the field and he doesn't really have the eye on the ball whereas Rabiar we've barely seen him play this season if you don't follow the um, the reserve team that is uh, but yeah th just he he's played like 15 minutes against Montpellier and the only thing that he could have done was scoring a goal but then um, till then was uh, was called off uh, offside when he wasn't so yeah just yeah and people who follow the uh, the reserve, they say that he's essentially Brandao, but with uh, with um, a lesser uh, technical, you know, with a with a, a lower technical level. Like he's lacking in, in technical stuff, which is, I mean, understandable. Uh, but I mean, having a Brandao is always good. Like Brandao is the is probably one of the the most prolific. Uh, uh, scorers with uh, with his level of skill, <laughs> so yeah. Um, and to be fair, though, I mean, um, you know, I just I just want to see s some new faces. Rabiar, it's a, it's a Cinderella story. Dude has been brought from Bézier to be to be a staple of the reserve team because they felt like Aprozes might not stay for much longer as the dude was pushing on uh, thirty five years old. So Rabiar was brought in instead. And yeah, I mean, uh, now uh, dude has a, a pro contract, and you just want to see him play. And there's not going to be a lot of chances because, well, there you know in in the hierarchy, I guess that he comes behind Gomis, behind NJ, behind uh, uh, Sar, and behind Leia Iseka. So that's four players, and uh, you know uh, you don't really need you don't really need a 
fifth wheel ever, you know? <laughs> I mean, yeah, so uh, if he wants to, to show uh, what he's able of, to today is the day. So really pushing for him being in the starting 11, or at least to be substitute, you know, pretty early on. Uh, and as a center forward, I want to see what he's, you know, what he's capa capable of. And uh, I mean, today might as well be the day. Um, yeah. So yeah, I was talking about. Uh, yeah, I don't want to stay up really past 4 a.m. But uh, when I, I, I uh, you know, turned on um, uh, be being sports, I saw that uh, the match that I was thinking would be happening tomorrow. So the uh, NFC. Uh, wild card uh, playoff between the Detroit Lions and uh, the Seattle Seahawks. I thought that it was going to take place tomorrow. It actually took place tonight, and the Seahawks won. Like I, I turned on the channel as uh, there was a 27-yard field goal, field goals being scored. Uh, you know, so uh, uh, the really early in the the fourth quarter. And essentially, the fourth quarter was really bad for the Lions because they haven't been able to do anything. Uh, and there was, you know, there was a bit of concern uh, when uh, for the the for the Seahawks because they've they've lost one of the one of their top players uh, in you know a few weeks ago uh, with a gnarly gnarly foot injury, like broke his foot or his ankle. Know, and uh, he was catching a pass and he thought that he had the touchdown and the referees you know they judged that this wasn't a touchdown because he didn't really break the vertical plane and you're like oh fuck that uh, you know just give him a break so yeah I don't see the Seahawks going really far but uh, who knows um, Baldwin has uh, has shown a uh, real you know he's shown that uh, he's really able to to catch the passes of um, of Russell Wilson, Wilson, and uh, you know, do you still have uh, German Curse, who's you know, I still remember his catch from the match against the uh, the Patriots. Yeah, <laughs> oh boy, Did, does that game still piss me off? You know, th two two years later. Yeah, um, but yeah. So I, I you know, uh, if I had stayed up actually see, until four four a.m., I would still be making this uh, this video blog video blog right now. So, um, anyway, I'm not gonna gonna push any further than that. Um, so uh, with that, you know, I'm ending the video blog. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it's just man, almost 7:30 a.m. That's bad. Oh, oh fuck! It's still not done. Bye.